Hi, Sandra Lemming here, and today I want to show you how to create a sign-up pop-up form that pops up over your page content. Um, now, I did do another video on an Aweber and how to install um, an Aweber form in a button, um, but a lot of people have been asking because that button opens up into a new section, like an Aweber section, a lot of people have been wanting the form to pop up on their content. So from a button. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to like, you know, just ignore this page. This was just a quick page I put together. It should be a landing page. So, you know, this shouldn't be up here and what not, but I just grabbed a quick demo page, installed a picture and installed a bit of information on the right hand side here, right? Um, and tried to match the button with the, you know, with the color of the shirt. Um, I really should have a lot more information here and maybe a video or something. But for the purpose of this video, this is just to show how you can incorporate an Aweber form, a sign up form with a button like this so that the sign up form pops up over your actual content, right? So this is the sign up form that you've created. Obviously, I would go, have to go into Aweber and I would want to change the color of that button so it sort of matches out with this shirt here because there's a little bit of a color mismatch. But yeah, that's just design stuff. You know, you don't have to worry about that. All right, um, let's get to it and I'll show you how I did this, okay? So once I'd created the page that I wanted to create, um, obviously you'll be in the DBL site builder. So you'll need to have a DBL site builder website. So you'll have the Astra theme and everything. It'll be a recent install, you know, since the new training modules came out. Um, and that's what you'll need. You'll need the DBL site builder. Uh, and you'll need your advanced modules and stuff like that. So when you're on the DBL site builder plugin, like, um, editing part of your website, what you want to do is you'll want to be in edit mode, obviously on the page. I'll just get that up for you. Sorry, I should have had that done, but I wanted to show you how the page worked. So you'll scroll down here and all I've done here is this is a button module, right? So let me show you this button module. So let me click on the spanner here. It's a model right? As you can see there, it's a DBL UA modal or model pop-up, right? And basically you just create the content, right? So you can have a preview so you can see what you're doing. But all I did, I mean, you can have a title and stuff, but basically all I did was in the content box down here, right? So you're in content and you're scrolling down and you're at content here, type content, in here, I just got the short code from my Aweber plugin. So I went into my Aweber plugin. So I went over here and I went to Aweber and then I went to forms. And I found the short code that I wanted from the sign up forms. This here. And I basically copied that complete short code brackets and all. And I placed it in the content section here, but I didn't actually place it, place it in that content section whilst it was like this. What I did was in the visual mode, I placed a row of X's, like just four X's there. And then I went to text and I pasted the short code over the top of the four X's. So you make sure you, you just, you know, highlight those four X's and then paste your short code. Once you've pasted your short code, you click on visual and then you click save, right? No need to do any more. You just click save. I mean, you can do some edits to the button, you know, the background color and stuff like that. But as for the form, that's all you do. And then once you've saved it, you'll click up here and you'll click done, right? So you'll click up here and you'll click publish and that'll be published. And then you'll have the page how you want, right? Um, but to be quite honest, I just want to show you where I found this module, right? So to get this module, I went into here and it's not in the standard modules. It's not in the power pack modules. It's in the DBLUA 
modules, right? So you should have that there and you'll click on that and you scroll down until you find the model pop-up module, which is down here somewhere. I saw it. Here it is, lead generation, right? So you click, you just click on that, drag it over and drop it there and then go to work editing and pasting your short code and you'll have a page similar to what I have here. So I'm just going to click done and I'm going to click publish. And so you'll have your page just like this one here, okay? Um, and now I'm going to go back to my plugins. Just ignore some of my plugins. You won't need some of the plugins I've got. Plugins help you with your website function and design and stuff. And we all have different types of plugins for the way that we want to use our websites, right? So you don't you know, you don't have to worry about having the same plugins that I've got, except for when it comes to you want the DBL Astra Pro, you want Aweber for WordPress, you want the DBL Power Pack, the DBL Site Builder, and the DBL Ultimate Add ons, right? Now, some of these plugins, well, most of these plugins I got by just um, following Stuart's training and installing the website. But if you don't have the DBL Ultimate Add ons, I think if you go into Mentors, you go into DBL Tool Suites, and you go into Site Plugins, I do believe. Just let that load. And if you scroll down through here, there's, um, there it is, DBL Ultimate Add-ons. So if you don't have that plugin, you'll want to put that plugin on your website, um, you know, but, but you'll want to make sure that you've actually done the whole, um, you know, um, build a website um, on the DBL Site Builder. Um, I don't know. You could check with um, you could check with DBL if these plugins will actually work on a standard WordPress that you've built, you know, on a 2017 theme or something. But I doubt it because it's not a page building website. So there you go. So the DBL Ultimate Add-ons is what you want to get this result here. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, reach out to me in the Mentors uh, dashboard or put the questions underneath this video and I will answer them if I can. Alrighty, so this is Sandra Lemming signing off. I hope this video helps. Bye for now.